hi everyone welcome to the channel thank you so much for tuning in today i'm going to show you the entire process of how i got my four locks installed um please remember to like share and subscribe to the channel for more it's think nursing you know we talk about travel lifestyle and nursing plus 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 all right so yes isn't it beautiful yes hi everyone welcome to the channel so thank you for tuning in this is me starting off with a big yawn because i've been doing my hair for the past few days i'm doing a three strand braid as you can see um just doing my natural hair and i use the expression outre o-u-t-r-e brand braid it's very light um and uh, i really enjoy using that braid because when i'm finished it gives me a very natural look um and it's not too heavy so i tend to go with that um so i will go ahead and do the three strand braid on my hair and depending on the length that you want then you choose the you know the length here as well and you can always go ahead and add additional pieces to get it longer for me this is gonna be about to my breast area or just a little bit below my breast um to get that look that i'm wanting and um this style is uh, something that is very protective for my hair i've had uh, a lot of growth because when i install the first um four locks this method in 2020 i think it was 2020 um i had like significant amount of growth i did cut my hair really really low at that time just because i wanted to you know get back that virgin look on the hair and so i've been wearing this um, braid for a long time a lot of persons tend to think it's mine but really and truly mm -mm, it's just plastic but either way it is wonderful And as you can see i am getting very tired um so i'm gonna go ahead and kind of catch up the hair um so i can actually get ready for work tomorrow um looking uh, pretty decent my eyes are not too boggy yeah so i'm just gonna go ahead and make one big cut there which is my grandma look and uh, then that's it for the first the second day that is of me doing my braids all right so this is day three of me doing the braids as you can see it's almost done
all right so this is the finishing uh, look to the first part of when i install my full locks and um, this part I normally do the three strand braid or plait um, for the hair and then I leave the ends out a little bit so that way once I put on that wrap over this braid I can have the ends uh, you know tightening on that braid itself so it doesn't loose out too fast or too quick um, I like doing my hair like this because it gives me um, a, fin a better finishing touch or finishing look to the the faux locks itself it looks more natural to me and that's what i love about it i don't do the roots too tight because you know i'm a lady who gets headache real far, um, quickly and so um i try not to do my hair too tight and either way i can't do it too tight because i'm not really that much of a stylist to actually get the grip properly for a braid but um when i do um braid it it's usually loose i try to do the ends or the sides loose enough so that way I'm not pulling too much or putting traction on the root here so that way it pulls on the sides of my hair and then cause me to have um, hair loss so I cherish these little corners here so most of the time you'll see them being the first set to actually start getting fuzzy that's because you know they're not that tight um, otherwise I normally will just um, start from the back and if I have plans later on which is coming up in three weeks time I normally will go ahead and do the front last so that way I tend to have a uh, nicer finishing look for my appointment or my closer you know vacation time or whatever it is that is going on um, the back part can actually nobody not really looking much on the back but you want the front part to stay as cute and natural and fresh as possible and um, yeah so when i do my hair like this in order for me to actually oil it what i do is i use um there is a ear fertilizer that i use it has a little point and then i'll just run it through and oil my scalp there's also sulfur eight i love that one it doesn't give you any danger for anything no dry scalp I, so i'll be using that to help with you know my hair and i'll also use the little um oil here with like tea tree rosemary ginseng and all that stuff in the in in it so that way i can still have a nice a fresh up finish during the week um this here i usually keep it for about, like say two or three months i'll wash it in between it's not that hard to dry especially with the fact that you know sun so hot nowadays i just wash it like on a weekend and go outside walk for two seconds and then come back in and usually it's good enough um try not to keep it covered too much because you don't want it to smell funky you just want it to smell clean and nice and then i'll come back inside and i'll do the entire routine again with all the oils that i would normally put in my hair to give it a nicer look and then i will go ahead and retighten the front parts here and i will show you in another video when i'm retightening but this is just my general look that i normally have when i am um doing my faux locks you know so a lot of persons tend to ask if it's my natural hair, but really and truly, no, it's not. I wish it was, but yeah, no, it's not. I love it like this either way because I get a chance to pull it down and wash it and then, you know, just do my natural hair because this is how I normally rock my faux locks when I'm feeling cute. Mm -hmm. Um, But yeah, so I just do that and then you just make sure that it falls real nice. I might go ahead and use like some different colors to kind of wrap some of them in between like burgundy I have burgundy or burnt orange and that really brings out a little bit more you know gives it a little bit of a pop the highlights there so I like it but yeah for the most part this is it so you can tell me how it goes as I say this part is not gonna be like this this is only gonna use to help with finalizing that final wrap that I will put over this braid to give it that faux locks so don't mind this hair um how i will do this tomorrow just a regular catch up and tuck it around the back if it's a case where it's not completed but for the most part i don't normally wear my hair like this to work yeah i don't really wear my hair down like this to work i usually like to catch it up and uh, you know just get going because i don't want it to be a case where at least when i was in the emergency room i don't want it to be a case where i'm cleaning a wound and my hair falling down in anybody's you know of a JJ or in their wound or you know whatever it is that I'm doing 
So I normally get up my hair, keep it in one place so that we don't go in places that it's not supposed to be. So yeah, so you can tell me whether or not you like it or not. Until then, thank you so much for tuning in and I do hope that you will. Please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. You know, turn that notification bell on and uh, thank you so much for being a part of the Think Nursing platform. Until then, bye. All right, so as you can see, I've already started wrapping the braid, the three strand braid that I had already installed. And I've wore that here for a few days. Um, so I went ahead and started the back and now I'm doing the front part of the braid. And um, yes, the technique is a little bit more like, you know, just having a piece of rope and you're just wrapping something around the rope. Basically, that's it. You're wrapping extra here around the braid that you've already um install so um that's exactly what i'm doing and then when i get to the end sometimes i will do like a three strand plait to get the braid itself you know together so that it's not loosening out or anything and then i'll keep on wrapping that braid over it to give it that four locks hope it makes sense to you So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to use the hook to go through the root of each of the three strand braid that is already installed. Then I'm going to get some loose braid, which is the same expression Utre. It's the same here that I used to install the three strand braid itself. I'm going to pull that through the root of each of the strand itself, the three plat strand um, braid that I have there. And then I'm going to make one section longer and the other section is going to be very short. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of twist it at the root. And then the section that has the longest set of loose hair, I'm going to use it and wrap over the three strand braid itself to cover that, um, that braid itself. And then you'll get that four locks looking type here. Then once I'm finished, I tend to just use the um, the entire loose ends and kind of plait it together and then continue doing smaller pieces of the four locks to kind of give it a more natural end as well as to make it not look, you know, bulky and all at the, um, the end. And so this is the entire process for my installation of my full lock braid. I do hope that you enjoy the video um, or at least learn something where you can actually wear the style, you know, just to protect your own hair. As I say, I'm not a hairdresser, so 
I'm just following YouTube and uh, making my own little um, twist to it. All right, and this is a final product. Thank you for tuning in. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Bye.